Hey everybody, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're here in Nashville right now at Jan's house. This is presented by our friends at Show X, which gives musicians control over their own ticketing. We're live right now with Elizabeth Cook. Elizabeth, it's great to have you on. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And joining you today, Herschel Van Dyke. Herschel, it's great to have you as well, man. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, so we're about to about to share a lot of your music with the internet right now. What's happening first? Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm going to do a brand new song. So I've been kind of lying all over town and saying it's the first time I've done it on everybody's thing. But <laughs> this is like maybe like the second or third time that I've done this song ever. It's just a few weeks old and it's called Lightly. My sister's obsessed with How did you feel about that? I mean, it's a unique rendition of that song. It's been played three times. Probably the first time it's been played it with a bunch of birds in the background. It was unique in that there were some wrong chords in it. <laughs> um, maybe we'll bring them back one day for a Paste reunion session. <laughs> well, perhaps by the time that there's a recorded version of that song, those wrong chords become the right chords, you, and that's just how the song is now. That's exactly right. It'd be boring if it went the same every time. Um, it sounded wonderful to me. I really appreciate you coming out and doing this. And uh, we got a chance to talk offline a little bit about the um, uh, about the fishing show, about, about Upstream, that I know you were doing, which is amazing. Uh, can you talk a little bit about balancing Elizabeth Cook music with, uh, with a fun uh, fishing and interview show, too? Yeah, I mean, I think it's good for me because if I have too much time to just focus on one thing, it's probably not healthy. <laughs> so it's good that I have different things. I have a radio show on Sirius XM, on Outlaw Country that I've had for a long time. Um, and then I do a voice on Squidbillies on Adult Swim, um, in which we just uh, taped our series uh, finale, uh, which was uh, heartbreaking. But um, but really cool and then yeah upstream my fishing show and then i'm just writing songs in between all that i can't write songs uh, the way that i write them about all the time or i'd be like institutional total burnout <laughs> yeah <laughs> well that's cool i mean good for you for for taking a passion and a pastime like that and figuring out a way to to get it on tv and make some money doing it and that's that's Thank rad you. were you able to take uh some pandemic time to do a lot of fishing just personally i mean it seems like a good good activity for when the world shut down you know we took to um it is um we did some of that but uh we took to gardening a lot and uh, went and got seeds and I like worked a puzzle. I hadn't been home for that duration of time in like 15 years and uh, watched the seasons change around my own house and neighborhood. And um, it was good for me in that way. Um, so I didn't, I didn't fish, but there are a lot of cool things. I could never get bored doing nothing, you know, just 
always think of something fun to do. Yeah, well, we're doing it right now. We're doing something fun at Jan's house right now. You guys sound great together, and there's, there's a lot more music to be shared. What's happening next? Yeah, okay. Um, let's do... Uh, let's do Bones. This is off the album, so I kind of know this one a little better. Maybe. I know that you recorded that one at um, at Walker's Ruby Red out in uh, in Santa Monica. Yeah. Was um, what is it about that space? Is it was it the room itself? Is there a piece of gear? Is there are there people there that made that uh, a particularly good choice to record aftermath? There's like a twin mattress over a vocal booth and like a forty thousand dollar coffee machine. It's the perfect studio. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's just, it's Butch Walker's, you know, it's, um, it's his energy at the end of the day. I'd record with him out behind a Best Buy, you know, like he's, he's just, um, he's the, he's the thing. And, um, and we brought, you know, my, my kind of country folk, Southern rock songs and, and gravy, my band with Herschel's in as well. And we, um. We went out there and got an Airbnb together in Culver City and had just a wonderful like family experience making that record together. It felt really, really good. Nice. Well, I'm glad you had got to have that experience and got to 
check out the uh, that that mattress with just exactly the right vibe. <laughs> and I would definitely tune in to Butch Walker and and you behind a Best Buy. It sounds wonderful. I think yeah. you might might have just hit on something. <laughs> I would trust him. Yeah, we um, uh, there's still there's we're only halfway through right now. There's still a lot of your music oh, to be shared with uh, with the internet. What do you feel like doing third today? See, I started cutting verses because I used to write a lot of more verses. So my songs are getting short, which I like. But then we run into this issue. Uh, but let's do um, let's do we'll do another one from Aftermath. This one's called These These Days. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna use a pick and I'm gonna switch. I've, this is this could not be more perfect. I love the setting. The music fits perfectly in it. So thanks so much Thank again for you. coming. Um, and can we talk about what's uh, what you feel compelled to write about um, right now? Do you feel like your songwriting is is 
much, I mean, songwriting obviously always changes over time, but I know you're going through heavy things in personal life a couple of years ago, and then an aftermath is maybe a bit of a, a way to process all those things. Does it feel like you're, are you still using songwriting to a certain extent to process that same stuff, or does it feel like... Yeah, I mean, that's the only stuff is coming out. That's the only reason I write songs to even begin with. You know, it's all very selfish and self-serving, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't sit down to write a song because I just enjoy the process that much, to be honest. It's um, it's a, it's a way it's a tool for me. It's a therapeutic tool for sure. Um, I came up in a fam country, you know, family band that was wild and violent and, um, you know, uh, so I have all these kind of mixed attachments with music, which is good and bad. And I feel like it makes it really poignant for me, um, but it's, it's a tough space to live in, which is one reason it's good that I have shows like a fishing show, like Upstream <laughs> and a radio show. Um, but that said, I do feel like, you know, Exodus of Venus was a pretty dark record and Aftermath has certainly got its moments of um, addressing the, those things in the, in the bowels of the soul. So I think that um, I feel it lifting a little bit um, in what I'm writing now, to, to be honest. I feel a little bit of a shift. It's a little unsettling um, that it's, it's a little lighter um, and brighter, I think, I think. Good, good. Well, I'm glad we that that's happening. You know, you've got that tool to, I mean, that's like, you know, not everybody has that tool necessarily to be able to lift that weight off of themselves. I mean, there's a ton of obviously other much, much worse ways to deal with those sorts of difficulties and just dive deeper and darker. So I'm glad that you figured out a way to, to put it out there in the world and share it and see if somebody can relate to it. Yeah, totally. I mean, I really started doing that because too, after you know coming in the, up in the family band i was like a nashville music row artist as a young female artist and new to nashville just a baby you know and i was very much you know in the throes of big publishing companies and big record companies and there were a lot of um there was a strong current for the kind of music you were supposed to make if you're going to stay in that river you know and um i uh that, that too just it, it it disenchanted me with the process I've really had to fight to fall back in love with it but I think it's that essential to my life and my life force <laughs> that I still do it and find a way even when the other ways were not um, without their challenges right that makes sense and and gardening too man that's great that's, gardening, uh, I'm sure that gardening. recharges the songwriting muscles yeah. as well well yeah I can't um, take too much credit for a lot of the gardening, but there's a lot, there's beautiful gardens on my property. <laughs> good, good. Well, I'm glad that you've used the last year and a half of, of lockdown in a, in a good way. And I'm really glad that you're here sharing the music with us again. And uh, we've got, we've got bonus track. There's a fourth song coming up today. Oh, we get it. We're going to do another one. If, you, if, you, if you got one? another one, if you wanted to, we could rap. It's, it's your, your call completely. What do you feel Is like? Is it time? No, we there is no time. No, we you could no play time. six songs oh. right now if you wanted to. We're in charge. Yeah, let's order a pizza. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've there, there is five points songs, pizza on man, the way. I've been working right now. On. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's do. Um, since I was just talking about the uh, bar room in my parents' van and stuff, I'll do this one off of um, Aftermath. It's called Stanley by God Terry. And um, yeah, it's a. Uh, It kind of explains some things, I think. Standing back, I tell you, knew exactly how I felt to play a George Jones song. While at the bell, matching shoes, polyester blues. At the Pine Grove Lounge and Roll, you can drink blues. Bloody bucket of old brawl, man. Who had been clean shaven when they started a team? And Stanley got going, Mom and Bass said, and Daddy on bass saying, Charlie Prank, Elijah Fools. 
sounds great thank you Herschel for coming and doing this and uh, have a great time out at the river I mean upstream sounds like a ton of fun and uh, best of luck on on new music when there's uh, when there are uh, dates to be announced and I mean aftermath is uh, is is out it just just very recently came out as well so best of luck on uh, on all of it and we really do appreciate you coming and doing this today. thanks you guys are the best thank you so much for having us all right see you next time all right